How's it going everyone? I'm going to walk you through the SantaFlow macerating toilet system and show you why it's a really great product. So what I'm going to do is just put it together right here and then walk you through all the specifications and also some of the accessory options you can add to it or take away from it. Installing normal plumbing fixtures below the main sewer line usually requires making a large hole in the foundation with a sewage basin and pump which accumulates waste and discharges it above the level of the main sewer. What makes this macerating system special is that it provides an all-in-one solution for getting rid of waste below the main sewer line without any major construction work needed and without the need for intensive labor costs. And with a special SantaFlow pump, you can add additional showers, sinks, and other fixtures and essentially make a full bathroom with no intrusive construction. So most toilets that are normal have a outlet that goes out through the bottom, like right here. So you set up your flange unit and you cut a hole through the concrete and it, everything drains out to the bottom. But what makes this special is that the outlet is right here. So you can basically install this against any wall you want. And then the macerating pump is put right here. And what it does is just it, it cuts up all the waste and then pumps it up through the system. So it gets it up out through your wall, into your main line, wherever you want it to go. And that's what makes this different from everything else. An optional extension pipe can be used to install the macerating pump behind the wall, allowing for a clean installation with no pipes exposed at all. While both perform the same function, the standard macerator is designed to handle only human waste and toilet paper, whereas the grinder is also capable of shredding personal hygiene products. The main difference between the standard toilet and the self-contained is that the self-contained toilet has the pump integrated into the toilet itself. So it reduces installation time, and it also makes it so that you can basically bring this wherever you want if you're only installing for a temporary situation. So this standard model is the most popular model, but the self-contained model is also really good. One, for elderly people, it's useful, and it's also great for if you're installing it in a temporary situation, then you can take it out and take it with you because it's all self-contained. So you just unbolt it and basically take it wherever you're going. Some units offer the basic options for connecting a toilet and a secondary fixture such as a sink, while others like the Sani Access 3 and the Sani Best Pro offer more options because the inlets are on the bottom of the pump so they allow for a shower or tub to drain down into the pump. The blades are stainless steel and are replaceable. The system pumps waste up to 25 feet high and 150 feet horizontally to reach existing sewer lines. The maximum shutoff head is 36 feet. The power cord is 8 feet long and the total product is 115 pounds. Installing the macerating toilet system usually requires these three steps. First, you run the inlet pipes to the macerating pump. Then you run a discharge line to the main sewer line. And then you run a vent pipe, which are usually 1.5 inch to 2 inches of PVC. So if anyone has experience installing the macerating pump and toilet system, share your experience in the comments section below if you have any tips on how to help people because a lot of plumbers look there and maybe you'll help someone out. And if you like the video, press like. And if you found the video helpful and the channel's good, then subscribe.